As we are speaking, there is breaking news developing in Istanbul, Turkey, as 36 people are dead and 147 are wounded after a major terrorist attack at the international airport, which will have huge global and international ramifications. There are videos coming out from social media, from the security cameras inside that we will not show you in its entirety in this video, but if you do want to watch those videos, you have to click on them in the description below. But we will cover all the important revelations and details as they are developing right in front of us in this particular video. Just yesterday, the U.S. State Department issued warnings to American citizens in Turkey to be vigilant and cautious when visiting public areas inside of Turkey. This happened yesterday before the terrorist attack that just took place. Israel has been warning its citizens for months not to go to Turkey, to leave that country because of the Islamic State because of ISIS. Just a few days ago, the Turkish authorities have stopped three ISIS suspects because they were planning to attack the gay pride parade inside of Istanbul, Turkey. Even though the government, when that parade did take place, decided to make it illegal, banned it, and then shot rubber bullets at the people who were there at that meeting. This is no surprise to a lot of people who have been following the news because ISIS has been committing terrorist attacks inside of Istanbul at least four times this year alone. Now with these three suspects who came in with suicide vests and AK-47s covering the soft target, the methods used are directly of ISIS but ISIS has yet to take responsibility for the attack. Previously, the Turkish government has actually shifted blame from ISIS and pointed their finger at Kurdish militia, the PKK, when there were actual terrorist attacks that were committed by ISIS. There is a conflicting geopolitical situation inside of Turkey because right now the Turkish authorities, their security forces, and their government, they are waging a war against the Kurds. They have actually sent airstrikes inside of northern Iraq just a few days ago. Many Turkish officials are pointing the blame at the PKK, even though this is a signature ISIS strike, even though the PKK only targets military Turkish locations, and they have done suicide bombings before, but they have only done that to government, security, military, and police forces of the Turkish regime. This does not look, from the artificial, as this is still developing, this does not look like a Kurdish PKK militia attack. But with the PKK being the main enemy for Turkey, the Turkish government has actively turned a blind eye towards ISIS. ISIS has actually been also fighting the Kurds and the PKK, and there is leaked phone recordings that shockingly show more than a thousand ISIS militants crossing the border into Turkey from Syria last year with the knowledge of Turkish security forces. Instead of fighting ISIS, the Turkish government is pushing its country into more chaos and depotism because they are focused on the civil war happening with the Kurds, they are deciding to send all of their military and security resources against the Kurds instead of ISIS. ISIS fighters who have been wounded were actually brought to Turkish hospitals, brought in pickup trucks. There's been videos and reporters documenting exactly how the Turkish government and its military has been aiding and abetting. ISIS inside of Syria to topple Bashar al-Assad, who is a geopolitical enemy of Turkey, and also combating the Kurds in that region with the Turkish government. One of the journalists, Sharina Shem, who has been covering this, an American journalist inside of Turkey who exposed how the Turkish government was supporting ISIS. She was murdered inside of Turkey, and the death was covered up by the Turkish government which all the evidence point to that she was murdered, executed, and assassinated by the Turkish government for 
reporting on how the government has been helping them. This video is a must watch. Must watch. It will be in the description below. The Turkish government does not like the free press and has actually been arresting free press advocates on terrorism charges. Right now, Facebook and Twitter are being throttled inside of Turkey, showing more clear blocks. And again, ISIS and the Islamic State are a huge, huge, powerful force that have been armed, aided, and abetted, financed, and supported by Turkey, by the United States. And as we are speaking, Al-Qaeda fighters and ISIS fighters are using Facebook to buy and sell weapons. Meanwhile, when people post conservative criticisms of the left, of the support of the Islamic State, they get banned on Facebook. Facebook is allowing radical Islamic terrorists to sell weapons on their platform, but they're spending their resources on banning anyone who criticizes the Islamic State. Welcome to 1984. This news obviously is extremely perplexing. I do not understand what's going on. Turkey has pretty much opened up the borders and geopolitically invited ISIS into their territory. And now we are seeing the ramifications and effects of this in horrendous terrorist attacks inside of their own country. Share this information because you won't hear it anywhere else with your friends, with your family members, because we are still facing clear suppression and censorship from the establishment, which sees us as a threat. Meanwhile, they're allowing ISIS to sell weapons on their own platform. Subscribe. We're going to have a lot more information coming here your way on YouTube.com forward slash we are change.